Welcome back everybody to another League Basics Rune video. My name is Nathan and tonight I just wanted to start another series on going over runes in League. A while back I did a rune video and I went over each tree in the runes but I didn't really explain each rune specifically and I kind of wanted to start a series of doing that. Now over this series I want to go over each tree and that is Precision, Domination, Sorcery, Resolve, and Inspiration. But tonight I just wanted to focus mainly on Precision. And then the next video we'll jump into Domination and so forth. Now with Precision, Precision is a really cool tree. And basically Precision Tree is, like it says at the bottom there, it's for improved attacks and sustained damage. Most likely when you run the Precision Tree, you're going to be using it on Fighters, um, people who have like long sustained damage like Darius with his Q and his heal on his Q. You also be want to be using this tree if you're using a marksman. Like uh, for instance if you're going to be taking like lethal tempo. You'd want to use it on like a, um, a scaling AD carry. Like a late game or hyper carry like Twitch, Kogma and such. But let's get right into it and let's jump into the precision tree and let's kind of go over so as you're let's say you're new to league or maybe you're a returning player and you're just wanting to get back into league but you're just starting the season and you're kind of wondering okay what are all these runes about well this is why i'm here and i want to help you and show you exactly what each rune and what each rune does and what each keystone does as well so starting with the precision tree so first you're going to want to pick your keystone now your keystone is going to be your primary rune that's going to be on your champion this is going to be the rune that's going to affect your champion the most. So let's jump into the keystones. So first of all, we have press the attack. Now press the attack, it says hitting an enemy champion three consecutive times makes them vulnerable, dealing bonus damage and causing them to take more damage from all sources for six seconds. Now what this is my mainly saying is that when you're in lane or jungle or wherever you're at, and you hit an enemy champion, three consecutive times, three different times, what it's going to do is it's going to proc them to take more damage over time for six seconds. So let's say for instance you're battling with somebody, you have pressed the attack, you're gonna you're gonna want to get three autos off. After you get those three autos off, you're gonna proc press the attack automatically. And then now that person who you're attacking is gonna take more bonus damage from all different damage sources. Which is really cool. And so this is really good uh, for people who are just want to duel you straight up. Uh, I know like Lucian's really good with this. Uh, someone like Urgot would be really good because of his W and he can constantly just keep that machine gun going. So yeah, press the attacks a cool room. Let's go to the next room. This is Lethal Tempo. Now Lethal Tempo, it says 1.5 seconds after damaging a champion, gain a large amount of attack speed. Lethal Tempo allows you to temporarily exceed the attack speed limit. Now what this is saying is Lethal Tempo, what happens is if you have Lethal Tempo as your keystone, the first time you use it, and so like after you use a keystone, it has to refresh. It has to go on cooldown. So after you use Lethal Tempo, after you attack another enemy champion, you're going to gain you're gonna break the attack speed limit so meaning your champion can only have so much attack speed on them at a time what this is going to do is it's gonna give you a bonus amount of attack speed over the limit that you can have so for instance let's say you're in lane you're playing as someone like a hyper carry you're playing someone like Kogma you're playing someone like twitch and you attack one of the enemy champions you're gonna gain a hundred and ten percent attack speed Let's say your champion only has 50% 50, 50 attack speed, right? Okay, let's just say that for example. Well, at, right after you attack the enemy champion for like a short amount of time, you're going to gain this huge amount of attack speed, like 110%, and you're just going to attack super quick, meaning you're going to be able to get your autos off quicker. You're going to be able to proc your passive. Uh, on Twitch, you know, his poison, it's going to be able to do more damage per shot. It's going to refresh that poison, so you're going to be able to do some nasty, crazy things. So that's Lethal Tempo. Next, we have Fleet Footwork. 
Now, fleet footwork is usually on 80 carries. You don't see it on a lot of other champions. I guess normally you could see it on graves in the jungle. A lot of times pros like to take uh, graves fleet footwork um, just for the sustain. So fleet footwork says attacking and moving built energy is stacks. At 100 stacks, your next attack heals you and grants movement speed. So the MS stands for movement speed. So what's going to happen is, let's say you're playing an AD carry like Caitlyn. And you have fleet footwork. And, you know, Caitlyn, she has really long ranged attacks already. So you already have an upper hand on the enemy. Now, what this is going to do is you're going to see a little icon, the fleet footwork icon here. And it's going to be, you know, on your champion bar or wherever your HUD is. And you're going to see that little icon. And what it's going to do is it's going to count from 1 all the way to 100. Well, when this hits 100 stacks, your next attack heals you for just a little tiny bit amount. And also grants you increased movement speed. And so what this allows you to do is it allows you to keep sustain in fights. But it also allows you to be agile when you're attacking and in, in maybe in team fights, in laning. It just helps you to keep your movement speed going, but also heals you while you're moving around. So this is just really great for ranged attackers such as like 80 carries or Graves who wants to do crazy amount sustain and also outside of lane in the jungle and out. Okay, we get to my favorite, which is Conquer. Now, Conquer says gain stacks of adapted force when attacking enemy champions. After reaching 12 stacks, heal for a portion of damage and you deal to champions. Okay, so this rune has gone through a lot. There used to be a thing, it got nerfed a while back, where when this rune first came out, you were doing true damage to champions, which was insane. So you would do like a 12% true damage boost and you would heal and it was just, it was a ridiculous rune that was just way OP. Anybody could run it, tanks, fighters, and they were just, you could heal and it was ridiculous. So now, what this does is just like Fleet Footwork, what's going to happen is you're going to see the Conqueror rune on, and for instance, so let's say, let's say you're playing someone like Darius. Darius would be really good with Conquer, and the reason being is because you heal for a portion of damage you deal to champions. So as you're fighting in combat, you have to stay in combat. When you're attacking an enemy champion, you're going to see this little rune count, and it's going to go from 1 to 12 stacks. When you reach 12 stacks, what happens is the portion of the damage that you deal to that enemy champion, you're going to heal some of that back. Which is pretty insane. So someone like Darius, who already has heal on his Q, and he has bleeding, for instance, when those bleeds are continu are being continue and they're going and they're going and they're going and they're going, you're going to heal for all that portion of that damage that you did back to your champion. So this is actually my favorite rune. It used to be a lot broken, and they kind of toned it down a little bit, but it's still a really good rune for like fighters and people who really want to abuse it so let's move down to heroism now let's go over overheal and you might be looking at this and you're like excessive healing on you becomes a shield so what this means is if you are getting healed constantly so this is overheal if you are constantly getting healed all the time from your abilities and you're getting more healing that you can actually take it just becomes a shield on you. Now, I think this rune is very underrated. And the reason being is because, well, not underrated in a sense, but more of it's just not common because a lot of people, they don't know how to use this rune properly. And it's okay. I, it makes sense, you know, if you don't know how to use it. But So this is just meaning, let's say you're, you're, you're a champion that already heals a lot back. But you have another champion, like a support like Soraka, who's healing you for a ton. So what this does is just after you get so much extra healing, it just becomes an automatic shield on you. Which is really cool. And I think this is a really underplayed rune. Alright. So for the next rune, we have Triumph. Now Triumph is one of the most common taken runes in the Precision Tree. 
you're not going to really see overheal on champions and you're not really going to see presence of mind now triumph is the most common rune you're going to see in this tree of precision in here especially for like 80 carries so triumph it says takedowns restore 12 percent of your missing health and grant an additional 20 gold so what this does is takedowns mean kills so let's say you're in a team fight you're really low on mana you're really low on health what this is going to do is after let's say you're battling it out with another 80 carry and you just barely kill them this is going to give you 12 percent of your missing health back and this is going to grant you an additional 20 gold off that kill so it's really nice and this will really save your butt a lot of times in fighting one-on-ones fighting in team fights and takedowns actually go off if i believe if i'm correct someone might correct me here they actually go off other champions you're fighting with so let's say you're in a team fight and you contribute to that kill from somebody else's kill that counts as a takedown i think i could be wrong <laughs> don't quote me on this uh takedowns i takedowns might be unique but i'm not 100 percent of that maybe someone can correct me but i believe that if someone else does a takedown you are part of the kill you also get 12 percent back but I could be wrong. Takedowns, I think, might be unique, meaning you have to kill that champion. We'll, uh, I'll follow up on that for you guys. Okay, next, we have Presence of Mind. Now, Presence of Mind. Increase your mana or energy regeneration when damaging an enemy champion. Takedowns restore mana or energy. So, just like Triumph, if you're using a champion that uses mana or energy regeneration, like, let's say, Lee Sin... When damaging an enemy champion, you're going to increase your mana and energy for a little bit of time. And your takedowns will restore mana or energy. So let's say, for instance, you're fighting. You damage an enemy champion. You'll increase your mana. And you'll increase your energy if you have regeneration, energy regeneration on champion you're using. So it's pretty, it's pretty self-satisfactory. This champion was really good I know for a long time, when Senna first came out, um, a couple of months back, she was really abused with this rune because every time you attacked a champion, you could increase your mana. That's pretty insane because that just means that you could constantly just abuse the enemy champions with her Q, her long range attacks, and it just went so well with what she did. So, presence of mind. Good rune underused just like overheal a lot of people don't use it and triumph's going to be the winner in this one most people take triumph so all right let's move on to the legend category now the first rune we have here is electricity i think i'm saying that wrong <laughs> i don't know we'll see all electricity all all electricity i don't know i'm saying it wrong i don't really care someone can correct me or make fun of me whatever you want to do now it says takedowns on enemies grant permanent attack speed so just like uh, for instance so what this does is every time you take down I like I said it could be wrong every time you kill an enemy champion you're gonna gain permanent attack speed that's really good uh, especially most most 80 carries or people who want to have a lot of attack speed they will take this and you'll see this a lot in like Shaco in the jungle Lee Sin can even take this really well junglers will usually take this because a lot of junglers play like early junglers like Lee Sin, Shaco like I said and they'll get early takedowns like kills and that will help them gain their attack speed which then clears the jungle quicker and so on and so on it also helps with marksmen like 80 carries as you're getting kills this will increase your attack speed and everybody knows 80 carries are so good with the attack speed <laughs> so this is just a really good rune now this is probably going to be the most popular rune in this section right here uh other than that you're more likely going to see a tenacity so this will be the first so let's move over to tenacity now tenacity it says takedowns on enemies grant permanent tenacity now tenacity is a is a cool word it means basically armor and magic resist um you're gonna gain also not arm sorry 
sorry, I'm thinking of something else. Not armor matches. Tenacity basically gives you extra tankiness towards abilities that try to snare you, try to silence you. Things that like can hurt your champion in a way where it will not damage them, but like root them. Um, like CC, for instance. So crowd control. There we go. That's the word I'm looking for. This just basically grants you 30% extra crowd control on every champion takedown. So it's really good on tanks, really good on fighters, people who just want to do sustain. I like running this rune a lot on graves more than I do like elect electricity. Um, people probably think I'm crazy for saying that. I don't care. I think it's really good because graves already gets tanky. And I think just adding that extra tenacity on top of them is really good. That's just my thing in the jungle. You don't have to do that. Um, I could totally be wrong with that, but I think it's kind of cool to take it on them. So, anyways, let's move on to the next one. So, the next legend rune, we have Bloodline. Now, it says Bloodline, takedowns on enemies grant permanent lifesteal. Weaker earlier, but stronger late, later game than other legend runes. So, for instance, like it said here, this is more of a late game rune. So, this is really good on people who want to scale. Um, like, this would probably be really good on Nasus. Uh, honestly, this would be a really good rune on Nasus. Uh, so, every time you kill a champion, you're gonna it's going to grant you permanent lifesteal. Meaning, lifesteal is when you attack an enemy champion, you're going to gain a little bit of health back from your autos. So that can be really good on people like Nasus, who already gets a crazy amount of extra lifesteal on his passive. And But I think a lot of people more will take tenacity on Nasus, but I don't know. I could be wrong, but I don't even know if you'd take the precision tree on Nasus, so don't, don't quote me on all these things, alright? <laughs> I'm just a little crazy, but... There's just some things I like to experiment on champions. But anyways, so Bloodline's really good if you want to scale. Um, so this is more of a late game rune than it is an early game. A lot of people have been taking this on Jin because everybody knows that Jin already has a set attack speed. So he doesn't really need that with his gun. And then also Jin is an AD carry marksman, so he's not going to need extra tenacity. And Lifeline is really good because it just helps him get extra life steal and helps him scale better. So, yeah, uh, it's like it says, weaker earlier, but it's stronger late game. So this is definitely a late game rune. Take it if you want to get permanent lifesteal on every kill or takedown. So, all right, last line. We're moving on to the combat. Now, the first one we have is Coupe de Grasse or Coupe de Grey or I don't know. I've heard it said so many times, so many different ways. So Coupe de Grace or Coupe de Gras or whatever you want to call it deal more damage to low enemy champions so that's pretty self-explanatory so let's say for instance you're in battle and this is really good for like an execution rune an assassin people who wanna get right in the fight and just do a bunch of burst damage and kill your opponent this is the rune that you're gonna use for that uh, so you'll just do more damage to lower health enemy champions it's pretty self-explanatory if an enemy champion's really low, you're going to do more damage to them because they're low. So this is probably the most common rune you're going to see out of all these right here. Alright, next is Cut Down. Now Cut Down is a rune you're not going to see very often at all. <laughs> um, it might be more popular now. I don't know, but I, I know the years that I've been playing League, being a 9-year veteran, I... Never saw this rune ever ran on a lot of people. I think I saw it one time on double lift. He ran it in the LCS because he was versing a bunch of tanks, and that was it. And I never saw it ever used again. Some people might use it more than you think. I don't know, but I never see it. So correct me if I'm wrong, but this is a very underused rune. Not a lot of people use it, but it's still a good rune. Now, cut down says deal more damage to champions with more max health than you. So let's say your instance, you're playing a really squishy AD carry who's like Kogma, for instance, and you're not going to get a lot of health no matter how much you level up, but you're going to do crazy amount of late game damage because you're a late game carry. This is really good for tanks who are going to get super tanky and a lot of health later on like Maokai, Nautilus, um, Nasus. Uh, Zach, people who just want to scale really big as tanks and get a lot of health, this is the rune you're going to want to take against them because you're going to deal more damage to them 
if they have more max health than you do. So that really helps with um, definitely hyper carries, 80 carries, uh, people who just want to do – it could even help under – you know, you're not going to take this on an assassin, but it could help an assassin. You know, if you got – if you're an assassin and you get to late game and now you have all these beefy champions you're versing, this could even help you assassinate them. I mean, there's a lot of things you could use with this rune, but like I said, it's very under rune. It's very under ruined, very undertaken, and not a lot of people take it. So, all right. Last but not least, we have last stand. In that, wow, that's perfect for the last. <laughs> so last stand says, deal more damage to champions while you are low on health. Now, this is very self-explanatory, but I'm going to show you something. This rune right here goes really well with Conquer. Also goes really well with Triumph, Tenacity, Last Stand. You're going to see these four right here be taken on really beefy fighters like Darius, for instance, or um people who want to get really low and then you'll heal a bunch of damage back quickly because you're low so the way this works is you'll deal more damage champions while you are low on health so let's say for instance you're really low on health and then you're also trying to sustain from your conquer so you're going to heal for all that damage that you're doing back while you're low on health using the conquer room so it's really cool so yeah, so these are just all the runes I wanted to go over. Uh, I'm going to make uh, another video coming up pretty soon, and I'll be going over the next tree. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, let me know if there's anything that I missed. Uh, make fun of me if you didn't like the video. <laughs> Maybe give me some uh, tips and tricks if you have anything that I didn't mention, and I would love to hear from you guys what your thoughts. I'm going to keep making these. If you really enjoyed them, please give the video a thumbs up subscribe uh, consider subscribing to our channel and uh, yeah all right i'll see you guys all in the next video have a good one bye